God, he really loves his I just boy. love watching myself. I, I just fast forward at home to my bits. I mean, I, I'm bare chested. So that's such a powerful about. scene. Though. Yeah. It's such a great opening, too, with the yeah. music. I asked Bono what his name was, and then everyone. What did he say? Him. He was like, I'm Bono. Daisy <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, what a combo! This is rather fun. Are you guys enjoying each other's company? We are. Oh, yeah. Loving it. Sorry, that sounded really sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't sarcastic at all. It's great. Oh, uh, do you know what? This just looks like the best fun, guys. Did you have the pinch myself moments on screen and on set? Because you've both been acting for quite a long time. 11 and 12, I think you both were. Um, this is, this is, you've come full circle and now you're in the Sex Pistols docs. Pretty cool. Yeah, this was uh, such an incredible gig and, uh, gig. <laughs> the gigs were incredible. It was such an incredible job to do. Um, we had spent so much time looking at uh, many of the archive footage or photographs from this era and so then stepping on set for lots of the gig scenes really um it did feel kind of surreal and seeing the boys in their costumes these iconic outfits the grundy show all of these images that we've just like become so used to seeing um it was kind of wild to see it portrayed uh on screen absolutely i spoke to the other lovely ladies who said they're a little bit nervous about their families seeing this how do you guys feel about that? Have you got any awkward scenes? No, not yeah, really. I mean, I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I'm bare-chested. So that's such a powerful about. scene, though. Yeah. It's such a great opening, too, with the yeah. music. It's a great moment. And it's also like, it's, you know, it's a free world. <laughs> it's a free country. <laughs> it feels like now it's like, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like uh, it's horrific for my family to see something like that. It's kind of just like... It is what it is. And how do you guys watch these kind of things then? Do you sit down and watch them in an entirety and binge it like the rest of the world? Or do you watch it every week? How, how are you going to consume it? I already watched it. I've seen it um, quite a few times. Yeah. I think I've seen, this will be the, we're about to see it today. Uh, I think this will be the fifth time I've seen the first three episodes. Wow. I know. God, he really loves his I people. just love watching myself. I just fast forward at home to my bits. <laughs> yeah. This is the, yeah, the fifth time that you've watched the entirety of it, but your scenes, right, yeah. yeah, we're in the like late 20s at this point. Um, I've already watched it. I might watch it with my boyfriend. Um, I know my family are gonna watch it. They'll probably binge it. My mum will binge it for sure. My mum's my number one fan, so she'll love it. Um, yeah. I watched all six episodes in a row once. That was a lot. No snacks or drinks? Oh, snack, lots of snacks, lots, lots of, of drinks. Snacks, yeah. But it was a bit intense. My eyes hurt after What's the ideal way of watching this then? What kind of snacks are we talking? What drinks? What do we need to accompany this? Well, it's actually a... Uh, well, I don't know. No one's told me not to say this, but it's kind of a hard show to binge. Not because it's not spectacular, but because it's like... It's... The pace of the show really reflects the... Um, well, just like the kind of the catastrophe of the story and how fast and brightly they burned and mm. then how quickly it ended. And so for that reason, um, although the story is hugely entertaining and the characters, you know, our versions of these characters are hugely entertaining and you just can't get enough of them. Uh, you, you know, you're feeling as you're going through sort of two, three, four, like something bad's gonna happen. And for that reason, it's like you, you need a little minute sometimes. Yeah, um, so, Process. yeah, I think it's like, like you hard know. work in a great way. Yeah. Okay, so maybe some crisps, some chocolate, but have a breather. That is the key, okay? Yeah, a cigarette break. Yeah. <laughs> so, Maisie, you've been a busy bee. We've loved seeing all your, all your pictures and hearing your stories. And someone says, yeah, as she told you about the Bono stuff and, and all this rock star lifestyle. No, she hasn't. <laughs> So... What's going on with Bono? Well, no, nothing. I went to a U2 concert while we were in Northern Ireland. Did you go to that U2 concert? No. No? No, no, I didn't, no. Maybe it was after the, you, you were dead. But it was with all the Game of Thrones Oh, gang. oh right. So, um, yeah, I went to a U2 concert and then we're all backstage and we're waiting for, like, to meet U2, to meet Bono, you know. And then Bono arrives, you know, like Bono, glasses, Bono. And then everyone's going to meet him and um, so... He came over, but I didn't want to do that thing where it's like, hi Bono, Maisie, pleasure to meet you. Cause I'm like, that's just like, I don't know, if you're Bono, maybe that's like really annoying or like, I don't know. But instead I played it really cool. And then I said, oh, hi, um, I'm Maisie, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> it's really, really embarrassing. So yeah, 
asked Bono what his name was, and then everyone. What did he to, say? He was like, "I'm Bono." <laughs> you. And then he moved on, and oh, just stupid. But you know, someone had to humble him. Good. <laughs> Um, and you're rockers now. You're both rock stars now. So, you know, you're living this rock star lifestyle. Do you like the rock music and the punk a bit more now you've been in this? And are you a different person at a gig? Were you different, Maisie, at you two? Well, I feel like this has made me fall in love with, like, live music a little more. And I think, like, the way that we value our artists is so different now. And especially since the pandemic, so many incredible artists have popped up. But it's all about radio play. It's about music videos. It's about you know virality on TikTok or like whatever and it's like in when I go through my artists on my Spotify I'm like who would I list who would I watch live who would I want who can I not wait to do at all whereas the pistols like that was the way that they were consumed well they yeah that was it really they didn't really get radio play because yeah. of this you know God Save the Queen was so um controversial so I think it's made me really value live music in a new way and for that reason I you know, I don't know, I need to go on Eventbrite, figure out who's playing in my city. I want to see you two rocking it out on the front row on a throw somewhere. That would be good fun. Uh, it would be great good fun. I mean, we were, we were lucky enough to be, we were, uh, whilst everyone was locked up, we were at the 100 Club yeah. watching our boys actually play. Because these, these guys, they learn, there's no backing tracks or anything. So all the music you hear in the show live. is them all playing live and singing live, every single bit of it. Um, so we were just at live. gigs for days. And uh, you know, mosh pitting and pogoing and sweating all over one another, and it was, um, you know, it was energetic. And um, you realise how much music brings people together. And at, at that time, everyone was forced to segregate and separate and stay away from one another. And it was it was so lovely to just be with people mm. and celebrate and jump and enjoy and embrace it. 